All right, hi everybody. This is uh, Mr. Best and Mrs. Best. We'd like to uh, just say hi and check in and see, make sure that everybody is, uh, you know, being safe, practicing social distancing, and uh, and healthy. And hope you guys are enjoying some time with your family. Apparently, I'm going to do all the talking on this video. Um, uh, as you guys know, we like to work with our hands. We like to be outside. So um, today, we are going to be building a bookcase. Bookcase. A bookcase. Mm -hmm. Not a bookshelf. Apparently, those are different. We're building a bookcase. Uh, we're going to show you how to plan for it and uh, maybe attempt to build this thing. Hopefully, injury-free. For our own living, living room. Yes. So during this time of quarantine, we uh, realized that we have a lot of books and we have a lot of games and we needed to organize them a little bit. So we are going to make a portion of our living room a big book case. Big book case. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's. We looked for plans on the internet, but we couldn't find anything that we were really sold on. So we just decided we were smart enough individuals we could figure out how to create our own plan and execute that. So this is our plan that we wrote out. Probably doesn't look like much right now, but we'll uh, walk through that whole process. There's a chance we'll have to make some modifications, but we anticipate that. Yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. As you guys know, not everything goes according to plan. Uh, if you look back here, we have a little, little helper sitting on the couch. Hi, Scout. The dirty window. Scout, can you say hi? <whistles> say hello? Can you say hello? Say hello. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa all right. Good girl. She did. <laughs> all right, she's ready to go. Go, girl. Okay, that's enough of us uh, chit chatting. We're going to get to work. Hope you guys follow along. All right, so earlier this week, we built this plant stand. Um, and that kind of got us the idea that we need to maybe organize more things. And so we have a lot of plants. This is the best love plants. Um, but now we have to organize a few more things. You probably recognize some of those from our classroom, sixth grade. Oh yeah. I brought them home on uh, Friday, our last Friday. And they needed a place to live. There's a tree in her room, I'm sure it's dying right now. <laughs> uh, so we've got lots of games and books and things like that. This is our current bookshelf. It is just not big enough. We have boxes and boxes of books. Uh, kind of help us get through this uh, time of quarantine. But this is the area of the room where we're going to build our shelf. It's going to be from our wall over here, basically to our window ledge, about five feet. And we're going to go about 31, 32 inches high, right about here. That sound good enough? No. Yeah. That sounds high enough? Yeah. Okay. So that's where it's going to go. Uh, hopefully it fits. Uh, that's the plan. Mrs. Best is going to help us pick out the stain. Here's your lie on her for the art portion of these things. How about the natural? Pickled oak? I don't think so. Cherry? Cherry? Pickled oak? This is too light. This is more natural, but the pine's so light. Maybe something a little bit darker. The pines, Ipswich. Pine's a really soft wood, so. The Ipswich pine? It's a little bit darker. It's not bad. Okay. Semi transparent. supposed to do this right Make sure it's not. That's what you want, which you already have. Thought we were shopping for wood. Do is show you what uh, tools we're going to be using. So uh, bring that over here. Let's see what we got. Normal table bench here. Um, we got our, our big L square. Okay. This is going to help us make sure that the angles are 90 degrees the whole time. Uh, we got our triangle square. This is going to help us for some smaller measurements. 
Roll tape measure. Measure. Measure, measure, measure. same thing. Okay. Uh, pencil, make some marks. You know, measure twice, measure twice, cut once. Gotta have your safety glasses. This is best already has hers on. Okay. Those are really dirty. We're gonna put this on when we cut <laughs> stuff. Uh, to hold this thing together, we've got uh, inch and a quarter deck screws. And uh, you got your drill. You're gonna need some drill bits. We're gonna do something uh, called pre-drilling the holes. And uh, just regular uh, you know, drill bits to put in the screws. Okay. And then the wood? Yep. Uh, the whole thing is gonna be built out of uh, one by 12 uh, six foot boards. Pine, right? Uh, yep, just your standard pine. pine. Each one of these is relatively cheap. We did not go for the uh, expensive stuff. We went for the stuff that will uh, hold books. So. <laughs> Alright, that's our tools. Um, and we got one more tool to show you. We're going to leave that one inside. Kind of moved our workspace outside today to enjoy some sun. It's amazing outside. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to show you the proper way to cut a piece of wood. And the first thing you have to do is figure out how long is, is it going to be. Um, this particular piece of wood is 54 inches. Uh, we want to make the most out of it, so I've got to make one piece that is 22 inches, and I'm going to use the remainder of that to make one of my 30 inch sections. We're going to use this piece here. So, tools you need for this pencil, tape, triangle, okay, or square. It's a triangle, square. <laughs> so, um, first off, let's measure our 22 inch section. This is a this is quite a long piece of wood, so we're gonna measure on each side of it. Use your pencil, and you always measure towards the outside of the wood, not towards the inside. So I'm gonna make a mark on 22 inches, right there. We'll go across the other side here. Make another mark, 22 inches. Take our square. We're going to line this up. You want to move your so you can see a little bit more. So I've got my got my mark at 22 inches. I got the square. Press this right to the side. Hold that there, and make my mark. I'm gonna flip the square right over. Go to my other side. Where I've got a mark. Make sure it's accurate. Oh, go too far there. And now I have one solid line straight across the board. That's what I'm going to cut. Alright, ready? Uh, we've got all of our wood cut, everything's sized out. Uh, now we're going to, as with most things, we start at the bottom, build our way up. We've got our bottom board here. These are your sideboards. First thing I do is a process called pre-drilling. Uh, for pre-drilling, we are going to our drill here, our drill bit smaller, about half the size of your of your screws, and we're going to drill just a couple holes into the sides of these of our uh, the bottoms of our sideboards. Gonna drill a couple holes here, and then we're gonna drill some in the bottom board here, and this will prevent the wood from splitting when we put the screws in. Okay. Um, other things that you'll need when you go to screw these together is you're gonna still need your L square, and you're gonna need your triangle square. Okay. Just finished pre-drilling, so now we're going to screw the the sides to the bottom, which is the base of the, the bookcase. Got this. It's 
So, here we go. Our width here. Level normally and you stay on that board, right? Inside. Yeah, yeah. Inside space. I got 58 and a quarter. Half 50 and a quarter. 29, 29. and 18. 29 and 8. Okay. Get your pencil? Got it. Those of you watching really closely, <laughs> we already did this one. <laughs> We may or may not have uh, uh, did some wrong math. It's fine. We can fix it. I feel like I made a disclaimer. We are probably going to have to make some modifications along the way. Middle. Now we're gonna put the middle on. The middle top shelf. Not the top half, but the middle half. Put the back facing us currently. Okay. Yeah, and we have the back facing. Okay. So I'm gonna not put in one of these sides, so we're gonna make that the back. Top or bottom, does that matter too? Okay. Oh, we make it back bottom. That's funny. By your face. Okay. So we're going to measure the center of the board to find the center of the board. Fifty and a quarter. <coughs> Twenty-nine and a quarter. Okay. Twenty-nine and a quarter. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, I'm concerned that we're not going to make this straight. Why? Do you think we could possibly measure from the bottom to the middle of this board so we know the height of where you want to make? You know what I'm saying? So we know what this height is, correct? Twenty-two inches. To the center of this? To the center? Yeah. Why? Because that's where you're going to put your screws. Right? You're not putting your screws on the top. I'm not putting screws in the front of the That's not what I'm saying. You're going to, on the side over here, right? You're going to screw in over here, which is going to be the center of this board. I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, but I would like for this to be more straight and flat than what your eyeballs can tell you, left-handed man. So I would feel better if we measured from the bottom of this bottom board to the center of this board. I see. And then we measured the same height on each side, so I know where to hold this and you know where to drill. Okay. Is that gonna work? No. Double shelf there. You can always test that. Hey, that's square. That's square. That's square. Look at that. So I use a triangle. Use a triangle, make things square. 
All right. Uh, Next is the Tantra. And then we add the other. Then we put these in here. So you didn't decide where we want those. Oh, that's true. So I think this, this side should be the top top, number one, because it has cool knots in it. Number two, because then I don't have to sand off the uh, things that are on here, numbers and letters. Plus work for me. Uh, we're going to pre-drill the holes for the top board, top top board. Great. So we decided the height of this bookshelf based on the height of our entertainment center. But also, we measured, uh, I guess, what a standard book height is, right? I mean, about you did. eight to ten inches. Eight to ten inches, Mr. Every book, said. About eight to ten inches. I believed him. I didn't measure myself. Took his word for it. So that's what we made the height of the actual shelf based on, in terms of the, the first, like, actual shelf. Sweet. So now we are going to pre drill the top the holes for the top. Mr. Best says on this side I have to do it, which is fine. I basically I basically made the whole entire plant stand, so I can definitely pre-drill the holes on this piece. That is not true. I mean, no one else, right? That, one was, that was pre film You're going to have to either believe me or her and... Alright, now we're going to figure out where we want our shelves. We originally talked about doing one roughly in here. I did not say a sideways shelf. we got to cut this one. <laughs> it's not going to fit. So, our, one, of our, one of our unfilmed conversations was, did we measure the boards and consider the width of the boards and I was assured by the master builder, my life's foreman, that yes we did in fact measure and cut based on the width of the boards but it looks as though that is not 100% accurate which is okay, it's fine, let's measure twice cut once but we're not in big trouble if that means we have to cut more off because you can't put wood back on your board so so we're, we're okay you're gonna measure <laughs> measure right here let's figure out where we want our shelf oh okay 29 inches so we'll measure it at 29 is that tight it's not straight man it's not moving it it's not straight it's not straight there we go does that look straight? I can see it as straight. 28. Mouse. Sander, this is what we use when we make our signs. Uh, Mr. Bath breaks down pallets, tears them apart, and then we sand them and stain them and then uh, put them together to sign. So 
Okay, so we need to measure eight inches from here to the top, right? From here up, and then on the other side too. Yeah, all four. Okay. You got your pencil? I got it. I got it. <clears throat> Fair. Never show up without a pencil. Ever. Ever. Never. Even at home. Especially at class. There's even a pen in here. I think so too. So we're gonna go find here. Yep. What you should do. Pre-drill these sides. Get a screw in. They'll stay. Get guys in. So you need this. I'll put it over here. Yeah? Yeah. I covered her screws and they're down here. So she's getting more because if we move this, that board's gonna move. Four and a quarter? Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go eight the other way. Correct? Um, okay. Eight this way? I would measure bottom from up. the bottom and leave eight. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna show you what these what these pre-drilled holes look like. The whole purpose of this is because we're dealing with really thin wood. It's good to pre-drill the holes so that way when we put the screws in it doesn't split the wood. Here's the level. Saying it's level. Doesn't usually happen. I mean it happens all the time. And then here are the other pre-drilled holes. I see how you played that one. You got it. This little thing's been patient with us all day. <laughs> what do you think? Any huh? kisses? Oh, thank you. What a good dog, girl. Okay, so uh, you're looking at our finished project here. Um, not totally finished. Shelves are built. Okay, all set to go. And um, it's level, everything checked out. Check out our level here. Bubbles in the middle, that's good. So, everything's ready to go. Okay, our next step is uh, Mrs. Best is gonna use a sander. She's got um, the mouse sander. She's got 220 grit paper on there. That's real fine. It's going to get it nice and smooth. And she's going to take off any of the blemishes, the pencil marks. And you know, you see like we did some math here. We got some pencil marks, like the factory print. She's going to get that all sanded down and make it look good. And then uh, soon after that, she's going to be staining. Okay? Okay, I'm done. This is uh, four pads of the mouse sander worth of dust. <laughs> oh yeah. I have to admit, I brush some of it off. Um, 
but it's sanded. You can see it needs to be dusted before we stain it. It still has lots of dust on it, but the color's a lot different than it was before we sanded it, which will make the stain more even. But it's stained. No more numbers, no more math, pencil marks. It's ready to stain. Okay, well, we are going to stain the bookshelf, which is behind us now, inside, in our workroom. Um, but to do that, we need our stain. We took a break and had dinner. <laughs> and cleaned up. I was covered in sawdust. And we tried to play more, but it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. We could not beat the big boss. Anywho, now we're back in the workshop. Um, we have our stain that we bought at Menards. You could use a brush or you can use uh, like material, which is what we're gonna use. We're also gonna put gloves on because if you don't, when you do it, this process, I think they're back here. Oh, you got them. Um, you'll get the stain in your fingernails and in your fingers, which is fine because it washes off with soap and water, which is what we're practicing. Gloves is a nice uh, safety mechanism so you don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna cut this old shirt and use this material as our uh, cloth for staining. So Mr. Bass is gonna... Utility knife. Okay, so next is to open up the stain. We use a screwdriver for this. Fly blade. So then you want to use something to stir it with because it tends to settle on the bottom, the stain does. This is pre-mixed. They didn't mix it at the store for us. You couldn't see it before, but before it was a gray color because everything had solidified on the bottom. But now it's turning to the brown, which is the same color as what's on the outside of the can. So um, before we stain it though, um, you need to make sure you get all of the dust off here or else that's just going to be stuck in your stain. So um, these uh, micro cloths work really well. We've got the Hustler and Hard team here. Okay, This works pretty well because it'll pick up anything. And this is already smooth, so it's not going to snag. I can just take this and just wipe. Okay, so now we put our gloves on. Get these gloves. Did you buy these? It's from my grandma. No, we got these in Menards. Last time we did our last batch of signs. Oh yeah. The whitewashed ones? The whitewashed, yeah. Okay, and so we're gonna move this thing closer to the actual... <laughs> these were the uh, whitewash signs that we did. That we did. Okay. I built them. <laughs> I stayed them. I put a cloth down before I put the stain closer because uh, I have a little bit of white paint that's already on the table because I did not put anything down the last time I did this. So we live and learn. Um, Scout had a dart. Dog had a dart. <laughs> I landed that one. I'm actually going to cut this smaller. And then this is my method. I just take it, wrap it around my fingers, and I dip it in. About to the fingernails. And then just go across the wood surface. The wood grain's gonna probably be different on every single board. So you wanna give it an opportunity <coughs> to soak in before you actually pull it off. Okay, so cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well. We're gonna get the rest of this thing sta uh, stained, and uh, let's show what it looks like here in just a little bit. All right, so here's the bookshelf. You can uh, see the decorations we put on top, the bookcase. It's a little hard to see with the light, but the stain really turned out well. And you can see that the knot holes on the top really look nice with the stain. Uh, but if it's perfectly in the space that we thought it would, and uh, 
we could definitely use another one. Yeah. All right. So, um, you got to spend the day with us and we showed you guys how to make a bookcase. And so here's our finished product. Um, it literally took, shh, scout, shh. It took us a day, not even a whole day. About I mean, half a day. We started in the afternoon and we finished in the evening and we even took a break to eat dinner, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we might need another one. We can obviously fill this one pretty quick. We do like our books. We do like our games. We enjoy spending time with each other. Um, and that's kind of one of the things we want to make sure we encourage you to do is during this time uh, we are quarantined. We uh, can take some positives from it. Uh, we hope that you grab a book, read it to a family member, have them read it to you. Uh, grab a board game. You know, actually play a game with somebody in the same room. Um, and uh, we just hope you get to spend some time with family. And, and not just spend your time in front of a screen. We know that most of our um, extension activities have been internet based, which is the easiest way for us to get them to you, but not necessarily the most ideal uh, way to spend your time yeah. away from school. So um, hopefully you got to see a little bit of how, uh, how we work together. Uh, this is one of our hobbies that we do and we got to add something nice to our, to our house. So we hope that uh, everybody in your family is safe, hope everybody is healthy and uh, we hope that we see you sooner rather than later. All right, until we see you back at school, take care everyone. Bye.